So if you ever are trying to uh, integrate two different softwares and you go on Google trying to find solutions, uh, you are most likely to find that here. You know, uh, for example, if you're trying to integrate, uh, if you Google um, Shopify and Google Sheet integration or uh, MailChimp uh, and uh, HubSpot in integration, uh, then you'll find them find Zapier or rank on top three. And so there's um there's no wonder that Zapier has been valued at five billion dollars recently. Um and it might not be obvious to a lot of people, but uh, Zapier is actually a marketplace startup. Um and uh so in this video uh and, and I, I, I run a marketplace as well, so uh, it, it it really intrigued me to do a uh, uh, SEO review in in this case. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, and you know, before we break down the strategy, you know, let's just take a look of just how good the strategy is. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm using SEMrush. It's a uh, a popular spying tool among SEO professions and with the tool uh, you can see the competitors um, uh, traffic and this is not a sponsored video you know and uh, first of all they got 12 million monthly visits and they uh, it, it's five it's actually six million unique visitors um, and uh, if we take a deeper look of the their sources, then you find that uh, search is um, has the biggest um, biggest percentage. Um, it has almost half of the traffic, and uh, the second one is direct. I would actually expect they have more direct traffic uh, because it's a it's a tool that you keep going back. I mean, I I I, I use um, Zapier like three, five times uh, a month. So uh, I expect this to be higher, much higher. Um, and so also what keywords do they rank for, All right? And uh, kind of uh, there's a divination with the tool. I can only looking at, uh, at one country at a time. And also this is a desktop version, you know, how in on desktop, uh, and you in USA, you know, this is what a track trend look like um, And this is the amount of keywords that it rank for it rank for of course that yeah This is called a branded search and people go on Google and type in the brand's name branded search so um, the that's branded search actually uh, the it shows that the, the better your SEO strategy is um, and so they rank for Gmail, you know, and when you Google Gmail, they rank on uh, number 17. But that that simple one, because the search volume is so high, so this keyword alone is getting them 55,000 of them. See, that's incredible. Um, and then you get Google Sheet, right? And, and so, again, this is only uh, the traffic from U.S., uh, and and I, I expect this is five times this, so it's a hundred thousands of you know uh, visits just for uh, people who searching um, Google Sheet, and and this doesn't include doesn't include uh, like a Google Sheet integration, right? So that if if you if Google um, if you uh, try to Google Google Sheet integration, it's not even it doesn't count in here, right? And and so uh, this is it it has to be like something like 200,000 visits a month just from this single page alone for free. Uh, so incredible. And by kind of um, looking uh, into the URL pattern here, you will see that uh, the best performing pages are basically something that uh, Zapier, something like this, you know, with this pattern, zapier.com slash apps. So, um, and we'll get into this. They actually have four type of uh, pages that are using this URL structure and four type of app they're 
targeting people with different intention. Uh, and then you have the blog one. So blog uh, is obviously, you know, their blog. And you have learn, right? So this slash learn. So this different type of content, but I bucket them into one category, then that's, you know, content marketing. Um, and then we keep looking and there was a pricing. So those are uh, more main pages. You know, they are obviously for people already uh, know about Zapier and then try to find out their pricing. So, um, you know, this is not like um, very genius use of SEO, I guess. Uh, I guess this is, uh, you know, but yeah, so those are the, the, the type of pages that I'm going to break down for you. And again, I uh, categorize their, uh, their hacks into three, uh, three categories. One is how they do content marketing. And second one is how they leverage uh, structural SEO to target uh, long, long tail keywords at scale. Now that's the keyword, at scale. Okay, and that's a tougher part. And then they, uh, the, the, the third SEO hack is their killer uh, backlink strategy in getting uh, very high quality uh, links from high DA uh, score. So DA is domain authority score. And uh, I have another article it's called, um, I, I did the other day, um, I'll, I'll leave the uh, article down in the description. So the article breaks down house, house.com, the uh, marketplace to connect um, homeowners with um, home improvement contractors. Uh, and and in, in that um, article, I, I kind of uh, have more, uh, uh, it, well, I mean, it's another video that breaks down how that, uh, how the structural SEO that's been uh, working so well for them. So anyway, um, let's get right into that. So the first type is blog um, and, and blog and this learn type of content. Uh, learn type of uh, learn is how uh, Zapier was using tutorial basically uh, to attract users from up the funnel and same with the blog. So um, and, uh, you know, before I dig into each one, I probably should have, should have mentioned that, uh, typically a uh, user will go through, uh, this typical bias journey. It's, uh, you know, the, you get the unaware and then you have the aware stage and you have the, uh, consideration stage and then you have the decision stage, right? So a blog and also tutorial. Uh, it's targeting people who uh, might not be might not aware of um, of Zapier, um, and that's you know uh, sort of uh, attacking them when they are not really looking for integration, or they are looking for integration, um, but you know it, 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 they are evaluating if, if there's a um, solution uh, on, online to to do that. So with this uh, site command, if you use site and then Zapier slash learn, then you will see a Zapier has published an 186 uh, pages, uh, well, tutorial, right? So in this tutorial, this is what it talks about. Uh, Zapier, Ultimate Guide to CRM Apps, Ultimate Guide to E-commerce Software, uh, Use Automation to get out of your LinkedIn Marketing, you know, and how to do, um, yeah, Project Management. So this is more tutorial style. Again, it's another form of content marketing. And if we take a look at, and also, yeah, so this is an example, or this is a blog, okay, so. And where is it? That's weird. Where are the two web hooks? Okay. Well, we'll just break down one. And then blog, if I use this same common, you know, site plus 
uh, and then zapia.com slash blog, then you will see that they have published around 4,000 um, articles uh, so far. So um, that way includes their updates. How tiny a powerful app name Alfred changed. Um, beyond the form, how type form received decades or whatever. So, yeah, so this is less type of less useful. I guess they are trying to be streamlined meeting. This is more like news, you know, so. But uh, the other one, this one, I don't know why they categorize here blog. It looks like this should be categorized as learn, as the tutorial type. Um, and uh, this one alone, let me see. So this is another breakdown of their apps. And we get into this later. So they have 4,000 of them. And then um, I'm going to use this one as an example that to get into the technical level. Remember that we talk about um, we are going to um, each each of those each of those um, we're going to uh, talk about the strategy of getting this done and also the technical well the tactical level of you know uh, on those individual blog individual uh, tutorial you know how, why are they ranking so well right so um, and so. We use this one as an example. So this is targeting people, targeting people who are searching uh, the what is web webhooks. You know what do they what what webhook do, does, um, and so uh, I'll just you know get right into this. So first thing is that they have the keywords, the main keywords in the page title, and the keywords in the URL. You know, and it's also static. Um, and then they have the right keywords in the hat. This is title, article title, different from page title. And then they have um, keywords in the headings, right? So uh, the when you're writing article, you, you should have headings because it's easier for people to uh, scroll and then, you know, just find the information they need. Um, and also, uh, so number one reason, having a keyword in the right places. Second reason, this article is fairly long. And you might be asking, like, why is the length of the article is a factor? Well, um, because Google like uh, informative uh, contents. And uh, typically, when people, when, when the article is informative, it tends to be long. Okay, so there's a correlation between that. So um, I will, you know, I will very confidently say that being such a long article is another factor they're ranking so well. And also, of course, if you have the right heading, you have keywords in those those heading uh, little headings, then um, the uh, the copy, the paragraph in here will uh, inevitably have the keywords as well. So that's the uh, the third reason, and then the fourth reason is it, it could be invisible. You know, they it could be getting backlinks from other websites. You know, I can use a tool to look it up, and then you'll find that uh, outside of uh, Zapier, they are uh, their website linking to this particular uh, article, and then there's this uh, internal links where uh, they link to this article. Uh, from other pages, whenever they mention webhooks, um, so now you have it. That's uh, that's why. And uh, the kind of a uh, big takeaway for uh, people who trying to implement uh, content marketing is that you have to uh, differentiate the content for social media versus content for search engine, okay? So on social media, typically visual content works better, okay? 
um, because when pe- the, the, the contexts are different, you know, the reason people use social media uh, are different from, from the, the, you know, the, the reason they use search engine. When they are using search engine, they have the patient to, to read a long form article because they're trying to solve problem. You know, they're trying to fulfill some sort of curiosity. Uh, and, you know, sometimes, you know, this is part of the job. They have to get it done. So um, for people who say, oh, people, uh, they say, oh, reader doesn't read long form article. I would say, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, it, you know, it really depends on the context. So um, that's a big takeaway. Like you, if you are, if you're right, if your goal uh, of writing an uh, blog is to get a rank, is, is get a rank uh, on top three of Google, then uh, you, you should try to be write longer form of article. Um, and again, longer doesn't mean fluff, doesn't mean uh, it's a, always a good article. But if it's an article and very informative and you give a lot of examples, a lot of details, it, you know, the article will typically be very, very long. Um, and so, yeah, keep that in mind. So if you are integrating uh, content marketing. And I have um, another article in here. You can take a look. We grew our traffic by 69 times in 15 months. And because we leverage long-form article. Okay? So don't tell me people don't read long-form article. People don't have the patience to read. <sighs> Those social media marketers. Okay. <laughs> Random rant. Sorry. Um, so the second SEO hack uh, is their uh, structural SEO. Structural SEO is a term that I invented. Um, so it's a... Uh, a process it's well um where you structure your website in a way that your website will automatically ranking for uh long tail keywords with different keyword combination and that's long tail keyword scale or sometimes the local uh, SEO as scale uh but the you know the the point of doing uh structural SEO here is that it automatically generated um uh, thousands of pages sometimes millions of pages in in house uh, house.com's uh, example it has millions of pages because of the because of their uh, structural SEO uh, uh, strategy um, and second they automatically ranking for uh, you know long tail keyword different keyword combination you know and in in in, in the case of um, uh, Zapier you know uh, the keyword combination is uh, software A, software B, plus integration. You know those three words that tend to be their main keyword. Uh, and we, and and to 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 tackle that. And by the way, by doing this, they ranking they they rank for three point six million keywords. Jeez, that I think in you know, chew on that. And. To do that, to do to um, leverage structural uh, SEO pages, they have they um, actually have four type of uh, page template. So it's it's more like template, you know, because it's a type of page. You know, it's not a pa- just a page. And here in this case, it's um uh, the first type is their category page, right? So this is an example. Top. Analytical and anal, uh, analytics apps, right? So this is obviously targeting the keyword analytics, right? And it's a listing listing page, right? Where there's lots of listing, uh, li- uh, there's a list of um, apps or software so that in this category. Uh, so um, and, and also their uh, their blog is actually doing the same job. So if we look at some of the Article here, blog, blog, blog. So blog here. Uh, how to use RSV? No. 
best URL shortener, best to do this apps. So let's open one. I'm gonna let it low. Do, 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 do. No, you might think it's redundant, right? So if you already have, if you already have a category page to target keywords like a top something, you know, top uh, numbers of uh, apps, then it seems there's no um, there's no need to also write a blog uh, about uh, certain certain needs, right? Um, and of course, this is targeting keywords. Uh, targeting users who are searching to do list apps uh, on or productivity apps uh, on, on Google, right? Uh, but no, it di it's so different purpose because um, it, a lot of time you, your blog is not um, it's once you publish it, it stays there, right? And and uh, you sometimes you you feel like some category is too small, uh, there won't be too many people searching for that, so uh, you won't do that. You won't write a blog for it, um, and so in that case, then this will make a lot of sense. You know, you having because uh, this is structural, right? And and the list it's it's um, kind of automatic uh, on the back end. Once when you categorize this as as in this category, then it will appear in this uh, landing page. And if you click on the uh, low more, you will see the list is just very very long. So it is an informative page, right? So this is the first type of their um, their uh, structural SEO pages, and then you have the uh, second type. Then it's a dedicated it's a dedicated landing page for each app, right? So uh, that just say that if I Google Shopify integrations, right, then you'll find this page. You'll find this page. Work uh rank on top three, right? So uh and and in this page is like okay uh we are going to talk about what Shopify is and what are the available um integrations on the software or well, popular. Let's give it that way, popular, because it actually uh it can rank, it can uh integrate with three hundred three more than three thousand of them. So that's a, a, just a lot, a whole lot of them. Um, and also, um, the second and the third type is um, app to app integration. So that means um, choosing that you say uh, let's pick one. Maybe uh, yeah, Shopify with um, with uh, Google Sheet, right? So this is an example. So this is separate. This is a delicate landing page, right? Um, and um, and then there's a fourth type of fourth type of page. So a dedicated landing page for each trigger to action. So that means every single one of those has a dedicated page. So if I click open this, well, I already did, and I click detail, it'll take me to this page. And it's the specific trigger and actions in, in Zapier. And you will see this will create just how many uh, landing pages uh, out there. And so that's what I mean by structural SEO. Because having those pages will um, naturally create a lot of uh, valuable keyword combination. Okay. And this, is to, this is specific to tasks, by the way. You know, like this is... This is Trying to target people who who Google add pay Shopify order to Google Sheet. You know this is trying to target that. I mean, this specific uh, a query probably won't get I don't know thousands of searches or thousands of traffic a, a month, but they are like how many of them, right? It's it's crazy, you know. So it's. Let's see. I'm gonna do do you a favor and do it on the fly. Yeah, 
okay, there's a 216 thousands of them. They are app related. So this is what I mean by structural SEO. Um, you know, using structural SEO to target uh, long tail keywords at scale. So, and you might be wondering then, uh, just creating those pages uh, is enough? No, this is strategy. So uh, getting those page structure done is a strategy, but you have to think about this in a technical, uh, in a ta technical level as well. And, and that's on each uh, those lend lending page, what you need to do in order for those individual lending pages to rank well, right? So in this case, let's take one as an example. I'm trying to wrap up this video. Um, Stevie, I'm recording a video. Sorry, my son. Anyway, so let's take this one. Okay, I think this one is better. What does this page have? Or what's the best SEO practice to make this specific page to rank well on Google. So let's start with the page title. So again, including keyword at the right places. Okay, and when I say right places, I really mean first page title, second, the keywords in the static URL, the keywords in the title, the keywords in the heading, this is heading. And when I click this, the keywords in those copies and just see, so that's the number one, okay? Keyword the right places. Second, it's an informative pages. And when I say informative, it, I mean it has multiple sections, right? It has section of a overview. It has section of, uh, well, I mean, uh, mini overview of each, each task, each um, uh, trigger to action, you know, and the list goes very long. You know, this is almost endless. And then you got here, well, this is just conversion rate optimization. That doesn't have much to do with SEO. Actually, it does because um, it's easier for people to click, one click, and then, and then sign up. So uh, that will decrease the dwell time and decrease the bounce rate from Google. And that's a signal to Google that this page is what users are looking for. So next time, if someone Google in the same query, people on Google are more likely to rank this page uh, on the top, right? So this is conversion rate optimization, but it helps SEO indirectly. Um, so, and also the other factor would be internal links, right? So other pages obviously linking to this, all the tutorial we talk about in in early on, uh, the the blog, you know, once they um, mention certain uh, certain integration, they are going to uh, link there. So now you have it. You know uh, that's um, how they. A leverage uh, structural SEO not only on a strategy level but also on a tactical uh, uh, level on how to rank well at scale. And so, last thing I will mention in this video is uh, their killer uh, backlink strategy. And uh, so, backlink number of gap backlinks it's it's like a number one. Uh, to increase your domain authority and domain authority and the trustworthiness of a of a website, and uh, for um, just re remember this, SEO it's a, actually only two parts. Okay, any activity or any um, task can be uh, categorized in in either you know two 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 category. One is relevancy, the other one is authority or trustworthiness and trustworthiness okay so only two parts 
no matter what you do, it's either first one or the second one. Um, the content strategy that we talked about earlier, that's increasing the relevancy. Okay, if you don't have a page specifically about Shopify and Google Sheet integration, then your website can rank for that. So relevancy is the foundation of SEO. Without that, forget about SEO. You know, there's no what's so like <laughs> you can rank for nothing. You know, if you don't have a page. Um, even like synonyms, right? So if if you don't, um, if people don't use the precise key, keywords, then at least it's a synonym, right? That and that's still relevancy. And so that's one part. And and, and the other part is it's uh trustworthiness and and authority, right? And in terms of increasing your trustworthiness and and authority, getting quality backlink is number one. It's it's the most helpful thing that you can do. It's the one thing that dramatically increase your a domain authority, okay, and so what's uh Zapier's hack to get uh backlinks? It's actually simpler than you think. Just directly getting them from their partners, you know. And in this case, if let's just say Asana want to work with Zapier, and Zapier can say, well, uh, can you have a landing page for us, right? So they will have a landing page like this, and we include a link that link back to uh, to the uh, to the landing page to the Zapia uh, Asana integration uh, you know landing page on Zapia. Uh, and the, the, the second example is HubSpot, right? So they have a delicate page just for Zapia as well, and of course they're going to link to uh, to the HubSpot landing page on Zapia. Okay, so now you have it. Um, you know, from the uh, SEO, I mean, from the uh, SE, I mean, on-site SEO to off-site SEO. So you can uh, you can kind of say that uh, the content marketing, structural SEO, you know, it's, they they are all about um, uh, relevancy, right? Having those pages and then the 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 page structure individual page structure is SEO friendly and having right keywords and those are all uh relevancy uh aspects and then the 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 backlink is it's the uh authority is the trustworthiness you know is that the, that they are trying to increase right so um yeah let me let me know if you have um, any question you know comment uh below uh, I will try to answer that. Um, and um, peace out